Hey YouTubers, good morning, Rob Moffitt. Last week we did a video on the top five star foods at the Dollar Tree. I thought we'd continue. It was kind of a fun video for me and you guys seem to like it. This is a five star food item at the Dollar Tree. Refried Pino Beans by La Sierra. Mexico's best seller. Some people say when when Mexico sends us their, their refried beans, they do not always send us their best. <laughs> They do too. <laughs> they send us their best, Mexico's best seller. Um, this is 20.5 ounces or one pound, four and a half ounces for only a buck and a quarter, which I think is a pretty good deal. The ingredients, total fat, uh, six grams, protein, six grams per serving is four and a half servings. So you'd get like, uh, what, four, six, 24, 26 grams of protein in this one can that's a pretty good deal um there is uh 18 grams of carbohydrate and sodium 520 milligrams per serving which is kind of a lot but the cool thing about this hope you're still with me <laughs> the, 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 uh, the cool thing about this is the ingredients not so much as what's in there but what's not this is i i mean so god bless mexico look what they got they've got water pinto beans canola oil onion and iodized salt you know like if it was like in so from other countries i, I like maybe this one <laughs> it had uh, like a bunch of frankenstein ingredients hydrolyzed guacamole holograms you know it's just like you never know what you're going to find there's just plain ordinary safe good wholesome ingredients in this can of beans um which i i think is refreshing I had a can. I, I'm not a, I'm not a aficionado of refried beans. I had a can the other day, and I can't remember. Oop. Uh-oh. Gosh. On camera. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, that will not stop us. I wasn't paying attention. So, the... Uh, the flavor was very mild, but the more I ate it, the more I liked it. It was fresh, it was clean, and you could taste the beans, and you could taste the oil, and that was it. And what else do you want to taste? This is, this is live. <laughs> this is live. Uh, Come on. There we go. We're going to make a real quick tortilla in the microwave. It's a, it's a lazy gringo recipe. <laughs> the beans, like I said, they're, they're just plain ordinary. What do I know about plain ordinary? I'm not, uh, there's people been eating refried beans and tortillas for 500 generations. I'm the lowest common denominator. I don't really have a lot of experience and in fact you're going to see me make this in the microwave which probably nobody does and i'll probably get unsubscribed from it and letters from the united nations but we'll <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna make it the lazy way now put on some cheddar cheddar martha do you have any more cheddar <laughs> we're making some tortillas now we're going to put that in the microwave for i don't know 60 seconds oh i forgot hang on don't go away you want to add a little bit of a something give it a little kick don't have any salsa it's a salsa free house. Not that I don't like salsa, it's just it's it's kind of expensive. Unless you make it yourself and you have a garden. Mmm, Colombian. Colombian, Missouri. By the way, these are only the finest Walmart flour tortillas. Or fajita. <laughs> uh, it's 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 a it's a flat flour thing, you know.
Now, the cool thing about these trays is the stuff doesn't get all wet because it's got the ridges. We're going to let that sit for just a few minutes to uh, cool down and get to where we can put it in our mouth and not have to go to the immersive room. So this is the most popular refried pinto beans in Mexico. I think they're going to be the best seller in the USA too. Like I said, a very clean, fresh taste. Easy to open. <laughs> well, not if you let me open it. Um, Gluten-free, good source of fiber. And uh, like I said, it doesn't have any Frankenstein ingredients. And um, I'm, I'm kind of liking it. And I think it's a good staple to have in the house. Because if you go online, there's a lot of recipes for using canned refried beans to make dips and other things that are really simple, quick, easy to make, and have a lot of protein and fiber. And uh, we don't often get enough fiber in our diet here. And I think it's important. So, yeah, pretty good stuff for a buck and a quarter. Okay, guys, it's cooled off just a little bit. Let's see what it tastes like. It's moist. It's not real stiff like cardboard because we only did it for like 60 seconds. Mm. It's soft, has a good flavor. The tomatoes are a little tiny to it. There's many, many recipes for using refried beans. Made by people that have been eating them for generations. So you might want to check them out. But if you're lazy and cheap, <laughs> give this a shot. These little trays are handy. So guys, mm, nice flavor. Not too doughy. Mm. It will be cool to put in some potato chips or corn chips in there. Have a crunch. Still got plenty left over. Another one. If times are hard, and many people, they are hard, this is a very inexpensive meal. That is nutritious. So guys, I'm enjoying these five-star food items. I've been online on Walmart to look at their stuff. This is one of my next reviews. The number one five-star cereal on Walmart, <laughs> Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's got over 3,500 reviews, and it's got 4.8 rating. So I'll do that next. I hope you're enjoying these uh, food reviews that are uh, five-star or and, uh, can't be above. They're just go to five stars. So, uh, yeah, this was fun for me. I hope you enjoyed it, and come back, do more. Take care. See you out there.